Hey, what is up YouTube? Call of Duty Warzone 2 has been around from last few days. 25 million players in initial 5 days says a lot about the passion for COD lovers around the world for this game. Activision made close to 1 billion US dollars with the launch of Modern Warfare 2, promising its clients a new action-packed experience. The new game format and the movement for the looting system, the DMZ mode, has been fun for you or not? Let me know in the comments. However, one thing I'm sure that the game is not optimized yet and even on the high-end PCs the performance is very poor with frame drops and scheme tearing. In today's video, I'm going to give you a complete guide on how to get the best performance on Warzone 2 with your PC. Watch the video till the end. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and let me know in the comment section below. Let us quickly start and check for any driver updates from Nvidia. You need to open your GeForce experience and check for available updates. My driver is already updated. It is showing any available update to you. Please download it and do a clean installation and restart your PC. Once you are done with the driver check, we need to open the NVIDIA control panel and under the adjust image setting, please select the use advanced 3D settings. Click on manage 3D settings. You can copy the settings that I have on my screen. There are three important things you need to check here. One, your power management mode should be set to maximum. Second, shader cache is set to unlimited or to any value for example 10 gigabytes or 20 gigabytes. Your refresh rate should be set to maximum for your monitor. Please note. And whatever changes you are making here in the global settings will be applied to program specific program settings and you can reset these settings anytime. Once you have done all this, click apply and close the NVIDIA control panel. Once done with all this, go to settings, click on gaming and make sure your Xbox game bar is set to off. Once you turn off your game bar, go to the game mode and make sure it is turned on. Then click on graphics and change default graphics settings and turn your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling to on. Now you're ready to jump into the game settings. So in order to find out the best settings for my PC which is running on NVIDIA 3070 Ryzen 5 3600 with 16 gigs of 3200 MHz RAM, I will share the details of my PC in the description. I started off with the ultra recommended settings. On ultra settings everything was set to high and game looked amazing but I was hardly getting 70 frames continuously. For FPS games like Call of Duty it is advisable to play on low settings then get maximum frames rather than beautiful graphics. Although there should be a balance between graphics and the frame rate otherwise spotting enemies and aiming at them can be very difficult in a fast paced game mode. So for the second time I tried everything off, uh, I turned everything off, made all the settings to low check if this time I'll be able to you know get more frames but my frames were not going over 85 to 90 there were just 10 frames increment I figured out that something is wrong with the optimization of this game because there is no difference in frames for ultra high settings and ultra low settings I did few more rounds of testing with different FOV full screen exclusive full screen borderless modes but nothing helped same results every time then after multiple rounds of test, I came to conclusion on few points and realized with my PC when I'm gaming and recording at the same time, I can't get more frames than this. Here are the settings which you can also try to get maximum frames. With all these multiple rounds of testing I have already done, you don't need to test anything. You can start off with uh, display mode set to exclusive. Make sure your graphic card is selected here. Uh, check the refresh rate and resolution to match your monitor's output. Custom frame rate can be up to your monitor's frame uh, refresh rate. Like if your monitor is 120Hz, your custom frame rate can be 120. Mine is 144, I keep it around 150. HDR can be automatic. If your monitor supports HDR, it will take it. Otherwise, it will not affect uh, uh, on the game. Now, one thing you need to do here is click on restart shader optimization so that next time you will restart the game your shaders will be reinstalled which will fix a lot of bugs and it will fix some graphic issues then go on to quality turn your render resolution to 100 upscaling sharpening to fidelity you can select the amount as per your monitor i play on 1440p so i keep it to 50 if you play on 1080 maybe you need to do it like 30 or 40 uh, it it is totally up to you. You can simply copy the settings from here. Most of 
key settings uh, will be on low or or off except few things just remember to turn on your nvidia reflex low latency if your gpu is more faster than your cpu keep it on if your cpu is more faster than your gpu then you should keep it to on and ultra Going to the view table, you need to keep your FOV to 120. You can also play on 110 to get better visibility on enemies, and also you can get more frames on 110. Weapon field of view to wide, first person camera movement to low. Then go to interface and in advanced interface settings, turn off parallax effect and center dot. That's it. Restart the game to shader optimization. Once you turn on the game, let the shaders install and then you're ready to go. So here's the gameplay on my PC after optimization. Remember, I have a single PC setup. I am recording using OBS while I'm playing. So I am 10 frames less than what I can actually get. I hope these settings will help you with your PC. If you are still watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the gameplay in the rest of the video. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you.
Got a bonus, got a bonus. All the system team. Yeah, I'm going to kill you. خالد خالد بنزلك بنزلك تحت الحين لازم نذبحهم عشان نرجع مرة واحدة انت في الجيم فين نذبحهم وين هم؟ حلو بعدين نحط لهم قدام شفنا نزل تحت نذبحهم يا اخي 